So, hi, hi there. We're on to the cover. I have made a big mess of things because I forgot to put away one of my papers. So hopefully if you're watching this tutorial and I'm gonna tell you up front what papers to save so you won't have problems. So make sure you do save this. I think I told you before, save this. You are going to be needing this. You're gonna be cutting Santa out the circle. Here's our cutout Santa. This is around, I wrote it down, four inches diameter. So I just kind of went around the, the red edge here. That's what I did. So it's about four inch diameter. If you have a die cut that will cut that out, or if you um, feel like you can cut it by hand, that's great. I can't. <laughs> so it's four inches diameter, so you're going to be cutting that out from this. You're going to go ahead and ink the edges with vintage, so, um, vintage, vintage photo, so that. And then you're going to be using this paper from Joann's. I think I showed it to you before. There's the name. It just says Rodeo Drive. I, I don't know if that's the name of the paper. It's a 12 by 12 sheet with some sparkle in it. You are going to use a die or you're going to cut out another circle. This one is four and a half inches. So it's a half an inch larger than Santa. Boy, why do I keep going out of camera? It's a half an inch um, wider than our Santa. And you are going to affix your Santa to your circle. And then once you do that, you can put Santa away. Now for the bottom piece, I think I told you to save one of these sheets. This is going to be not quite six and a half by six and a half. Let's see, where's my ruler? This is basically, since this is six and a half, I usually just do six and a half minus two tick marks, which is minus an eighth. Same thing. Six and a half minus two tick marks, which is six and a half minus an eighth. And that's going to be your base right here. You're going to ink the edges on this. And I made a line right here because we are going to be needing to attach magnets which is a whole ordeal um, to get them in the right place. So what I do is I usually just line this up, get the two um, flaps together, and then I will usually clip them so I know they are straight. And then I just draw a pencil line down here. I mean, you can erase it afterwards. That way you just know that is where this flap is going to be meeting this flap. So once you get your paper affixed, and I haven't affixed mine yet, I don't think, no. You are going to line up your folio, get it flush and straight, make sure everything is flush and straight and then make that line. So that's what you're going to do right now. We're not going to be putting magnets under this paper, I believe, because we're going to have two other papers and the magnets are going to go around here and here. So if you put it under this paper, then you have this other cardstock to go through the magnets just won't hold. So we're going to lay off and putting in those magnets till after we get the green layer down and then we'll put it under this this layer because Santa's going to be sitting somewhere like this. So once we get the green paper in 
the green sparkle paper and then we'll we'll go ahead and put that magnet in but for now your job right now is to get this paper out cut it cut it to size ink the edges affix it here go ahead and cut out Santa this is from the 8x8 eight eight. cut out your Santa and cut out this round circle that's a half an inch wider than your Santa ink the edges put Santa together and then I'll meet you back once I do all that myself so I put my cover on I, I'm putting this face down so it's flat much easier to work with when it's flat this piece if I forgot to mention is from the 8x8 pack so you got that down hopefully you've made your line you figured out where the the front flap meets you know right on top of here so we have our guideline just so we kind of know where it's going to be next thing you're and I got my Santa he's all glued down next you're going to be getting this piece now this piece let's see it measures I think I got it as it's basically six it's one tick mark less than six inches long by four and almost a quarter four and almost a quarter it's like one tick mark less than a quarter so I do kind of put some um, inking, inking around here just there's no white core to this paper I just kind of like to tap down the green so I just kind of ink around the edges on this green piece now this is going to go in your upper right corner here Here's the back of the folio. Here's the front. Here's the front. So this is the back. This is going to go in the right upper corner about a, an eighth of an inch down and then just a sliver of this paper showing. So I am going to attach that and after we get that attached then we can figure out where we're going to be adding our magnets. So I'll see you back after I get mine tacked down. Now we're going on to magnets. Now, when we were installing page one, I forgot to write down there's going to be magnets, but um, I will edit, it, edit that video so you, will got, you guys will know what to do. So we know our magnets need, we drew our line, right? We drew our line right here. There's our line where our flap goes over. If you can see that line I drew on here. Usually I like the magnet to be at least a half an inch inside of that line. So this one is is a half an inch and a half an inch but I had already snuck a magnet in here and I I used my undo because I used score tape so I can use undo and I just opened this up and I slipped it in there about where this meets so let's see if I did a good job so I got that in there and now here's the magnet its counterpart so let's get our score tape this might be too big of a piece but okay so the mat the magnet is there's a, the score tape on the bottom. It hasn't been pulled. Here's the sticky side. It's finding itself right there. So now when you close this, you want to make sure it's lined up straight. 
get this and make sure this is lined up straight down here. And then you press. Press to get that, you can't see me. Press to get that score attached, attached to that green sparkle paper. So there's where our magnet is. And of course I have too much score tape. I'm gonna to have to pull some of it up and cut it, but that's okay. At least I know where the magnet is. So those, that magnet works. Now for this bottom magnet, what I did with this one, I placed this guy a half an inch, a half an inch, one inch up from the bottom, one inch up from the bottom, and here's our line, and a little more than half an inch inside of this line that we drew. So that's, that's where I put that one. Now this one was a tricky wicket. So if I had to do this over again, I would just tell you, don't build, put this pocket together because it would be nice to put this magnet underneath this pocket somewhere. But no, no problem, we have a solution and it's a good solution. You don't want it underneath the pocket because there's too many layers in the magnet won't work as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to hide that magnet with one of these. I cut this out from this 8x8 eight eight paper. It's just one of these, these little mices. Mices? <laughs> Mice? So I cut him out and hopefully we are going to be able to get our magnet somewhere around here and then I can hide him with our mouse. So let's see how this one works out. So I got that one down. Let me get my score tape. Where is that score tape? Okay, so I got my magnets figured out. There's my little mousy hiding, hiding the magnet behind his little belly. And there's the place where it's going to connect. So there's our two magnets. So they're lined up pretty well. The only thing is this one's kind of showing. So if I would have moved, <coughs> so if originally if I would have moved this green paper down just a little bit farther, it would have been okay. Um, but it's already, oh, eh, magnets. Anyway, so back to this page. So now I'm gonna put this back flat again this out and I gotta move this all this stuff so now we have this sheet so this is just going to be placed where it's lined up you know square with this sheet below we'll still have to cover up that magnet down here somewhere with something um, so I'm going to go ahead and put this in and then we're going to go ahead and get our Santa in and he's going to go about right there. So once I get him in, I'll give you the measurements, but he's basically this little circle, this circle at, is going just outside the green, not quite touching the edge of the paper here. And he is about how far down? How far down is that? Is that a half an inch? A half an inch down from the top. So I'll see if that's where I end up placing him. Because um, I, I, we have some lettering that we need to put into. We have the Christmas, which is going to go about, where's my line? About right here. So this Christmas is going to be 
aligned with that line because we know that's where our our flap of the other page goes so this is going to be aligning about right there and I want it right at the edge of the green of the green mat so the green mat is going to show just a little bit underneath that Christmas part so this is all going to go in like this with this right over here so once it once it looks balanced and I put it in I'll be back but that's about where everything is going to go so I'll be right back okay so the front cover is in so what this came out to I put the the circle about one and a quarter inch up from the bottom and he's this little circle is almost touching the edge of the, the designer paper but not quite so that's where you're going to put Santa we'll figure out what to do with this magnet that's showing there's plenty of options we always have options and now we're going to work on this part which is the front flap the second front flap now I when I design this I I always do the cover the first thing before I do anything is I, I do the cover well I did that and I put away all the paper because I cut it put it all away and for some reason this piece of paper I didn't put it away and I've been cutting through this so much because this is probably my favorite paper so I've been using it a lot and then when I was going to do this I didn't have enough so I will tell you at the beginning to put away a, a sheet for your cover too just to have it so you have it so what you're going to do is you're going to use this paper from the 8x8 eight eight. mine's been taped together I'm trying to get different ones so I can make one whole piece of paper the Frankenstein method of, of putting stuff together but you what you're going to do is make your designer paper the same length as this one which is six and a half minus one eighth long and you're going to have a little black space in between them so basically it's going to be about one and three quarters plus two it's are basically it's just cut it by two at two inches and then you can always trim it down so six and a half minus an eighth by two inches that's what this paper is going to be approximately now this one is also from the 8 by 8 so this is six and a half minus an eighth by one and a half one and a half so this is the 8 by 8 and if you guys don't have that double-sided tape um, it comes in uh, where I put mine I I have stuff all over this this messy room I use it all the time so I can um, put stuff down and then see how I like it move it around it's really good stuff I think Julie has it in our, our her shop at scrap and create so go ahead and cut this piece out get that fixed go ahead and get this piece out with that little edge of black in between you want to keep that black in between and then that's what I'm going to do I'm going to be working on my Frankenstein orange dots so I'll see you after I get all this done okay so you should have gotten these two sections in remember you have a little little black space in between oh my goodness that took me forever mine ended up being yeah around two inches wide so next you are going to locate this is from the 12 by 12 and you are going to cut 
out the stamps. Just go ahead and trim them all out with your paper trimmer. Trim it out. Here's mine. You trim it out just beyond the candy cane. See how the candy cane, oop, gosh, why can't I find this? The candy cane is around all the stamps. So you're gonna go just outside the candy cane, but keep the candy cane in. So trim it just outside the candy cane all the way down on both sides. And then you're going to cut each of the stamps out. And then you cut them, don't have any of the green. You're going to cut them outside the candy cane again. So cut them outside. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I, I'm I... Cut them outside of the candy cane. So basically you're just gonna make a box around the candy cane frame of each of the stamps. But first, cut them along the edge of the candy cane with your paper trimmer. Just cut them all out. And then cut them individually just outside the candy cane all the way around. So I picked four of the four stamps, putting special delivery um, going to the window, special delivery with the, the, babe, the little kids sleeping, and then Santa and the reindeer. So I, once I cut them out, I eat, gosh, sorry. I'm holding them up so I can see, and then you're out, you're not in the camera. Look at my fingers, I got ink all over them. Ugh. So then I inked all of them, and then I matted, I put them on top of each other with a little black space in between, and then I matted them on black cardstock. So this whole thing measures with the matting five, so that's five by one and a quarter plus two or one and a half minus two. So that's, that's what this whole thing comes out. So you're just making a tiny border of black all the way around just to let it pop out a little bit. So cut all your stamps out from the 12 by 12, then cut these individually, and then mat them on black cardstock with just a little bit of edging all the way around. So you're gonna do that. And then you're going to go back to your green glitter paper and you're going to affix that to the green glitter paper. So you're just going to have a little like eighth of an inch, sixteenth of an inch on each side border. So whatever this comes out to, you add a, an eighth of an inch or so. So my little guy comes out to five plus two plus an eighth by one and a half, because it was short by two um, for one and a half, so you add an eighth of an inch. So once you get these cut out, inked, put on black cardstock, and then put them on your gray, your gray, your green sparkle paper, and then we'll come back after that's done. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna mat mine to this. So I have mine affixed to my paper, and I'm not sure if you guys are, this is the only time I'm actually using glue. Whenever I use, um, have to affix something to this green glitter paper, I just wanted to make sure it's stuck. I'm using the other glue I like, the, the Beacons 3-in-1, just because it, it holds really well. And it has a little odor, but it dries 
pretty quick. It has acetone in it, so it evaporates pretty quick. Acid-free. It's a, it's a really good glue and gives you a little bit of wiggle room too, which I always, I always need. So once you have this, you are going to place it about an eighth of an inch from the edge here, about right there, and then just a tad, so a little bit of the orange is showing on top, and then you're going to fix that there. So you want most of it, you don't want this centered with the orange dotted paper, you want it more to the left. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll be right back, and then we'll work on the sentiment here. So I don't know if I was recording the last thing. I looked at my computer, and it went black. So what, what we just did was, um, just in case... It, my, I didn't record it. You cut out this sentiment, "'Twas the Night Before Christmas," from the 8x8 sheet. Uh, just go, just cut out this whole thing, and then you're going to cut it in between the before and Christmas. So you will have was the night before Christmas cut and these are both um, inked and then put on a little edging of black cardstock and then the other one the Christmas is on this this page now this is going to be aligned with there's your mark where you where we're putting in the magnets so this is just going to be the black border is just going to be just to the to the left of that little mark and just with a little bit of the green sparkle paper showing at the bottom. And then once you get that one in and you check it to make sure it's okay, then you put this one in so it's all aligned with this here. And then I attached um, a little cutout of some holly from one of the pages. I'm not sure which page. And I attached it here. Number one, it covered up my boo-boo, which is there. And it covered up that little piece of holly that was left on the paper when we cut it out. So that's what that looks like. So there, we're still going to add a little knob here where he opens the door right here. And we'll have a little pull ribbon um, coming from there too, but we'll, we're going to be doing that once we are doing our decorations and and other stuff at the very end, making our tags. So now we're going to go on to these um, spines. So we finished the front cover. So we're going to do this spine first, which is the wider of the two spines. Now, this is going to be double matted. The first mat is going to be the green sparkle paper, and it is going to be basically six and a half minus an eighth of an inch longwise, and it's going to be, oops, one inch wide plus an eighth. That's what I'm getting. You kind of get it so it's it's fitting in there. This paper here, the top paper is going to be from the 12 by 12 collection. This is the, the plaid pattern. This plaid pattern paper is an inch wide by six and oops can't see it here six and a quarter since six and a quarter 
Now to decorate the spine on this one, there's a number of things you can do. I, I really love the, the little kids in this collection. So I cut out these little kids on the stair, on the stairs. This is from the eight by eight. I cut them out here and I matted them on some red cardstock. And then I cut out that Christmas, oops, the Christmas greetings right there and put it down here. It's not a lot of work but if you don't even want to do do that and you want to do something out there's so many other options y you can use some of the chipboard pieces they would look cute down here you can just do a circle punch circle punches with the with your green card stock and circle punch another image that you like this one would look cute down there too that would look cute down there too. So a lot of options for however you want to decorate it down here. The other spine is basically left. There's nothing on it. It's also double matted. It's also with the 12, um, 12 by 12 collection plaid paper. This one is also the green paper is six and a half minus an eighth in width in length by one inch is the green and it's doo -doo, about three quarters of an inch for the plaid. You get yours measured and see how much reveal you want. But everything is, is around an eighth of an inch shorter than, shorter than the, the matting before. Pretty, pretty basic. So that's it for the spines. Pretty simple double matted spines using the 12 by 12 plaid paper. This is the eight, eight by eight plaid paper. So now the back, the back of the book is also, the back of the album or folio is also using the eight, um, the 12 by 12 plaid paper. So the spines, the back of, of the folio are all using the 12 by 12 plaid Christmas paper. It's also backed with the green sparkle cardstock. So just do your measurements. This the green cardstock is again is going to be six and a half minus an eighth and then the plaid will be whatever your green stock cardstock is Minus, minus an eighth, so double matted. I pulled out this, this um, cut apart from the eight by eight, and I just cut off the little pl plaid border around it and came up with this. So you can see it's just been, the border's just been cut off ink the edges so you would do that and then I got this little piece of the the polka dots from the 8x8 this is one inch by six inches minus an eighth six inches minus an eighth that's a little strip that's going to go down on the bottom and it is one inch from the bottom. So you glue, glue down this little strip and then I put a piece of scotch tape on top of that little strip before I glued down this little card because I wanted this to be able to slide in, this little tag to slide in without hitting the lip of this. So that's what I did. And then you're just going to, once you get this strip in, put your scotch tape here to cover up that lip. You're going to add this card over it. This card is just like, oh my gosh, an eighth of an inch from the bottom of, of the folio down here. Put that in, and then you're gonna get this card from the eight by eight collection, which is a cute little 
tag, make it into a little tag. So if you're giving this to someone for a gift, it says for and from, and you can put in the date of whatever year it is, tuck it in here, and you've got a little gift ready to go. So that's it for the spine and the back. So we are, we are done with decorating. Well, we are done with um, the bulk of the folio, and then now the last video is going to be completing the decorations.